Welcome engineers. My name is Travis IQ and today we're doing a certification comparison. Security Plus versus Certified Ethical Hacking. Who will win? No one knows. Well, I know, but let's get started. First, I'd like to start with a comparison of the certs themselves, just some information about the certs, right? So Security Plus is a vendor neutral cert put out by CompTIA and CompTIA is also a nonprofit organization. And so what this leads us to is a little bit different discussion of kind of how the compensation metric works for the certs, how the uh, course structure works for these certs, these types of things. Um, but let's talk about the what the cert covers, right? So it's a, comp it's a comprehensive fundamentals of securing IT infrastructures, right? Physical security, attack vectors, cryptographic fundamentals, security policies, infrastructure, infrastructure technologies, all these things. What that means is it's a broad cert about cybersecurity in general, which means that if you're taking a one week short course or two week course, or even if you're prepping it yourself, right? That means it's gonna be very broad and not quite as deep, right? In terms of the depth of the covered material, because there's so much stuff to talk about and you really can't test a broad topic and in tons of depth, right? It's diff very, very difficult to do that. It's very difficult to expect students to be able to take an exam and pass an exam of that infrastructure too. So it does lack a little bit of depth, right? But it does cover a lot of topics, right? The exam breadth though is very good for verifying security fundamentals and it can indicate a great base of security understanding. In comparison, Certified Ethical Hacking, CEH, is a an EC Council cert. EC Council is a for-profit educational institute, right? It, it focuses more on the specifics of offensive cybersecurity and ethical hacking, right? Red team stuff, recon, reconnaissance, scanning and enumeration, gaining access, privilege escalation and establishing persistence, and then clearing tracks, clearing logs of what you did while you were there, those types of things, right? And it can cover very specific tools, open source tools, proprietary tools, all of these things, right? And EC Council, because they're a proprietary vendor for profit, they can build their own infrastructure, force you through their course and force you to use their infrastructure. I say force, but there is some benefit there, right? Where they can update the infrastructure regularly, they can update the tools with with the most relevant tools from the last 12 to 18 months, right? And they do that. And so I think in this case, right, the lab infrastructure and the course infrastructure the EC Council has put together because of its, its vendor lock-in-ness is really beneficial. The other problem with, you know, um, understanding kind of how these certs work is, you know, we didn't really talk about price, I suppose, where you would expect to be, to uh, the cert to be less expensive and the course is generally to be less expensive for like a security plus versus an ethical hacking course. Again, that has to do with the proprietary nature of the course material, right? Uh, it's just, it's just one of the facts of life when you're dealing with these types of things. Okay. So we talked about the course types, right? Now what's best for you? I don't know. What are you trying to do with it? And so what I think is great for those use cases, right, is let's start with um, DOD compliance. So if you're trying to be 8570 compliant, right, and you're trying to, to take a test to get DOD compliant for the 8570 spec, right, then the clear favorite in this case is Security Plus, right? It's a cheaper cert, you can self-study and take the test, right? In general, for the EC Council cert, you have to take the course to qualify for the exam. The exam is more expensive, it's more time intensive, right? So I would say to meet this spec, Security Plus is the, is the clear winner there, right? Okay, how about, you're trying to gain knowledge of specific tool sets to apply to your desired task, right? Well, in that case, I think that CEH would be uh, the best the best of these two, right? You're like, well, what about defensive cybersecurity tools? I don't know, take uh, CCMP security for Cisco's tools or something like this. But in this case, right, if we're looking for specific tools in these two exam infrastructures, I'd take the CEH, right? The CEH provides a really great infrastructure for understanding and presenting those tools to you. And the lab infrastructure is really good for demoing those tools as well and understanding how they work. So I would say if you're looking for more specific tool and infrastructure knowledge, then the CEH is the clear favorite here, right? So two different use cases and two different results, right? Um, are you looking to get into offensive cybersecurity specifically, right? Which a lot of people entering the cybersecurity space are trying to do, right? Then I think the CEH is a good start. A lot of people will tell you that the CEH is not an entry level cert and it is not, right? But if you're starting with some base level of cybersecurity knowledge or some base level of computing knowledge or some base level database knowledge or infrastructure knowledge or Linux knowledge, right? Then you might wanna say, okay, well, let me take this, let me take this cert to get me a great 
foundation of tools and hacking methodology. I think that that's a really good way to do it as well, right? The CEH would be much better if that's what you're looking for, offensive cybersecurity tool sets. Now, the SEC Plus does have like a section and probably, you know, they say 24 to 25% of the exam infrastructure on their exam outline covers, you know, attacking methodologies and a little bit of tools and tricks, right? But it's really not dedicated to that. And I don't think it does a very good job of that if that's your specific use case, right? Okay, finally, get to, the, get to the most important one, Travis. I know you're all waiting for the end, right? Are you looking to be employable, right? So that's the use case that most people are using these certs for, right? Employability, right? So which one would I use if I'm looking to get a job right now, right, in the cybersecurity space, which is a hot topic, right? Um, well, it depends on what you're trying to do and what kind of job you're trying to get, right? I would say that 80 to 90% of the students that I come across in the cybersecurity courses that I teach, monthly, weekly, whatever you want to say, right, are looking to go red team. They're looking to go offensive. They think that's the cool way to do it. And it seems awesome in movies and in, you know, the, the defer and the response and like the response reports that you see in these types of things. You're like, oh, I want to be the guy who did that pen test. I want to be the gal who built that that offensive secure cybersec tool and and showed the exploit. Right. That's that's very, very cool. And it is an awesome job to have. Right. But. The difficulty with that is if you're looking for just rote employability, right, is 80 to 90% of the jobs are in the blue team, right? Defensive cybersecurity, right? Most organizations have a real and immediate need, most of them even right now, right, have a real and immediate need for competent cybersecurity professionals, right? At both the uh, entry and intermediate levels as well as advanced levels. But, you know, if, you're, if we're talking about these certs, we're talking about entry and intermediate. And so if you're looking for just overall employability, then you're definitely looking for something like a Security Plus, right? There are other cert, uh, certs out there that will help you with this as well, but a Security Plus is a great place to start, right? It's going to show a clear competency in the security fundamentals, and it's going to give you a really good base for having a competent interview about how cybersecurity works, cybersecurity fundamentals, infrastructure fundamentals, policies, all of these things, right? And so I would say if you're looking for just straight employability, Security Plus has got to be the clear favorite here, right? Because it is so useful in terms of all of the topics related to blue team cybersec, and that's the majority of the positions, positions that are out there, right? So that's my CEH SEC Plus comparison. As is always the case, engineer, break stuff, and have fun.